Let's look at another case that was problematic for utilitarianism. You might remember I had that example where uh, their utilitarianism could not account for why the grandson should keep his promise to his dead grandfather. You might remember that they were out on the last hurrah sailing trip. Grandfather dies, but before leaving, makes the grandson problem, prom, promise that he will bury him according to his religious dictates. And the thing that would have the highest utility, utility in that case, since the grandson is, you know, uh, is one of not exactly high moral character, and you know would get great pleasure from using his grandfather's body as bait, which. The, the right thing to do according to utilitarianism was the thing that had the greatest pleasure for him since he's the only one around that counts that is to cut up grandpa and use him for bait which struck many people as being kind of barbaric uh, that's a stronger way of saying morally wrong and utilitarianism just couldn't account for the wrongness of it and in general it can't account for why we think that people ought to keep promises Maybe this is more like the first example, more of a du an issue of duty, that you have a certain duty to keep promises. and But in any event, that can't be accounted for uh, in Kant's theory. Let's move on to another example. Let's think about two people, Jim and Joan. Um, Jim doesn't cheat on, well, we're talking about cheating on exams in this case doesn't cheat on the exams because he, and the only reason, the only thing stopping Jim from not cheating is that he's afraid of getting caught and thrown out of school. Joan, on the other hand, doesn't cheat because she just thinks it's not the thing that's done. It's the wrong thing to do. It's not fair. Now, in this case, we usually think that Joan, most people think Joan is doing the right thing, but there's just something about Jim's actions that we don't exactly, at a bare minimum, we don't think are morally praiseworthy, morally laudable. However, utilitarianism can't explain this because they are essentially doing the same thing. Neither is cheating. They're taking the exam and not cheating. Utilitarianism really can't explain the difference between those, the, the, between Jones deserving credit and Jim's not deserving credit. 